real good, ladies and gentlemen. You're back with another craft beer review with the Kissing Cousins. I am Skinny Jeans. I am Ted the Tank. Guess what? We're doing a beer review. <laughs> so, hit us up on our social media. Our Facebook is off the tap. Our Instagram is off the tap 2018. We've been ad nauseum telling you what we have going on there. A lot of different beers that we post pictures of with a brief review of what we thought of the beer. Pretty cool because it's like a little behind the scenes of when we aren't able to actually put the beer to YouTube. That it's just something that we have on the side. Put a brief description. A lot of fun. We have three different IGTV series on there. Craft Beer Food, Craft Beer Reviews, and Craft Beer Cocktails. So make sure you guys hit that up. Check it out. Also... Our untapped page and our off the tap are going to have the same handle if you guys want to go on there. Off the tap too, that's what that's going to be. And then our email. If you, there's anything you guys want us to try out, anything you want to send us, if you're interested in sponsoring us, hit us up. Off the tap, gb2018 at gmail.com. Now, let's get into it. So, now that we are actually over this like pandemic stuff basically like we're kind of post-mortem of it like like you know we're just like Stagnant. we're done with it Stagnant, we're done with it we're over it we're over it we're over it i'm still over it we're over it, it is hashtag it is. done with it <laughs> <laughs> anyways we did a lot of local stuff to support our local economy and to support those guys to make it so we can keep getting their beer at their tap rooms honestly um it also doesn't hurt to just keep supporting your local breweries always and forever. And but now we're going back down. Like I got this brew. Like we record a lot at one time, so this is why we're going back to this before it goes bad. When I was down in Georgia, I picked this up. Number one beer in Georgia, supposedly, is what I've been hearing. Number one brewery, at the very least. Yeah, and um, believe it or not, when I first got down to Georgia for the project I was on, I went to. The one of the bars in the airport, and I'm like, I want that one. Well, well hold on, I should we should take a step back because we all know Terrapin rules Georgia, so but they also sold out. To <laughs> so, aside from Terrapin, these guys are the number one dogs right now, yeah. So, screw Terrapin, they are done, <laughs> <laughs> they sold out, they lost their respects. <laughs> I'm just kidding, they do have good beers. I've been to the Terrapin Tap House in the airport, it's pretty good. In um, the airport. <laughs> I heard, no, but I heard been... that that same airport has a great Chili's as well. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways. But I we're went... Applebee's guys, so screw it. <laughs> I went to two different bars that had this on tap in the airport. Both sold out. Really? Yep. Interesting. Friday's was the only one that had it when I went there. Oh, right. It looks like I'm eating here now. Oh, so screw Chili, <laughs> screw Applebee's. He's a TJ on Friday's guy. Ladies had it on tap. And I'm like... I, Drank it. It's actually a pretty good beer. Um, and I'm like, we need to review this. You know, like, the number one beer in Georgia. Let's give these boys some credit. So they're good at their IPAs and stuff. I brought her home. So Comfort Creatures Brewing. Basically, how this all came into fruition was... Trop... Tropical... I can't even pronounce the word. Tropicana. Trop... <laughs> Tropicalia? 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 Yeah, it's an Indian. Tropicalia. Yeah. So, one dude was just like... You know what? I really love beer. Starting <laughs> like I it love usually, beer. like it usually happens. Eventually, he was like he brought in a number of different people that had a number of different skills. One was business. One was more of like the brewing. He actually brought in a guy that brewed for Sweetwater Brewing down there yep. for about seven years, and that's now I don't know. Shouldn't say now, but that was his head brewer, and basically came to just build a powerhouse. Yeah, it like. The, the owner of it, like the original owner, like he used Creature Comfort as his home brewing like brand, basically. Okay, yeah. Which is pretty sweet because we know quite a few home brewers. I, I got my own thing going with Dairy Air. We know Jim Reynolds on Chug Live. Oh, man. Dude man. has uh, Toolbox Brewing. And it's pretty sweet. Like a lot of these home brewers just have some corny names for their stuff, and it's great. Well, it's fun, though, because everyone creates their own concoction. Their own brand. And they have, yeah. yeah. So they're creating their brand as a home brewer, basically. Mm -hmm. That's it, it. Kind of makes it easier when you do want to go to business. Like, I already built this with my friends. <laughs> right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> my friends love it. <laughs> so it, it's brewed in Athens, Georgia, southeast Georgia. So 
that are probably powerhouses in the IPA, I would imagine. Yeah. Like, when you get down to the southern region, it, IPAs are huge. Well, you've said that you've tried a number of different IPAs from down oh, yeah. south, and you were like, it's like, I'm like, dude, that, like, that region just has IPAs down just because it's consistently warm. Mm-hmm. And they're like, IPAs are drinkable during the summer, so. Yeah. I've had so many that down there when I was, I was down there for what, not even three months because we got cut short, two and a half. And I probably had probably a good 20, 30 different IPAs down there. I like to drink. But this one, the first one I actually tried down there. I want to know what you think about this beer. All right. I know you've been chomping at the bit. It's Gabber. For an IPA. That's the gold color you're actually looking for. It's actually kind of a little bit hazy. But that very bitterness on the, the tip of the tongue. Very fruity to as far as aroma. So I like I smelled the fruitiness right away. Oh yeah. Um more bitter than I anticipated. Not as hoppy as I thought it would no, be. No, I like especially the aroma hops are they're not there. But like for like drinking it it's it's kind of there it's it, it's not over hot it's um most of it's on the front end i did get some lingering bitterness on the back end yeah it's a very do, minute amount i do appreciate this and i i like this this is definitely it makes sense because we've had a couple of beers that you've brought back and most of them seem like they're crisp they're clean yep. and that especially describes this one that is something that summertime I mean, look at the damn trees on the palm the trees, baby. That's it. Colorness. Palm trees scream summer. It matches the flavor profile for sure, which is crazy. But I, I definitely am like, yeah. Put a put a bunch of these in front of me. Put some sit peach on my, up in it. Sit on throw some peach in it, and you got Georgia in a can, baby. Throw there some it is. Peach on it. Throw some beach on it. Let's <laughs> go. Yeah, spring break got cut short. <laughs> I like this. This it's, is it's good. good. It's well balanced. It's, it's it's not a beginner beer. That's, like that's where like, I don't I think can't go with beginner. I gotta go probably intermediate to right after intermediate. I would go uh, struggle with this, but I would go smack dab in the middle. But yeah, I don't disagree with maybe a little higher than intermediate as yeah, far it's as just, it's drinkability. Just, I, I feel like it's not the aroma on this one. It's just I think for me bite, the bite for me personally this is more like. This is a intermediate, but this is easy drinking for me. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm like, I definitely enjoy this beer, and like, I heard it was number one in Georgia. I'm like, I gotta bring her home. I can bring ins- her back. To Green I can Bay. just like envision myself laying on a tube on the river in the summertime, just crushing way too many of these, throwing up. Probably after the end. <laughs> Yeah. Throwing up after the end of a four hour tour, you know. Three hour tour. <laughs> Peeing on myself several times. <laughs> yeah, 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 absolutely. But no, this is a, it's a well. Well into a beer for an IPA. I like and it. It's not it's nothing special, it's just a ripe, juicy, aromatic, balanced IPA is what, what they say. They isn't tell you that what, what it is. everyone's looking for nowadays is just a, a balance. Great, yeah, great balance, a good flavored, juicy IPA, something that quenches doesn't quench your It almost gives me something. like that New England style with like mm. but it's not the hazy with it, you know? It's 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 got the juice to it where it's like Bam, I want more. Yeah. I still get it. Which makes sense because they are East Coast, basically. Basically. I mean, you do have... Some influence there, for sure. (laughs) You have a whole coast of (laughs) of Georgia that's on the coast. So it is East Coast, basically. and But they're on the other side of it. And it's still a good, like, well endowed beer. I like it. Number one, give it to them. Keep her tuned.